it's that time of the year again. Except it's not really, but it kind of is because the pre-orders are already available. It's Whiskey Advent Calendar. Now, I have a little bit of a confession to make. I absolutely love whiskey samples. I love not just Master of Malt, although I do, it's true, but anywhere that allows you to buy little samples, 30ml or 50ml, not miniatures, because I've said before, I think that sometimes they're less than trustworthy, not always representative of what you get in a full bottle, but any company, independent company, that splits a full bottle down into affordable little drams so you can try everything is right up my street. So Master of Mole, Whiskey Exchange, all of those, they are not sponsors of mine. They never have been. It's just that I absolutely love whiskey samples and I've spent thousands of pounds on them over the years and probably saved tens of thousands or more by not having to buy full bottles. So the whiskey advent calendars are something that I kind of feel like I have to do every year. I did it last year and a few of you hopefully joined me for that and I opened each one on the day, and I, not blind, but I tasted each one and gave my thoughts on each one, and I had a leaderboard, and actually turned out a blended whiskey came top of the ranking last year on the Master of Malt Whiskey Advent Calendar, which I didn't expect, and that's always good when something surprises you. And apart from that, I just thought it was a really fun experience, and I think the best bit was all of the people that joined in and a few of you were tasting along and opening your drams at the same time as I was and sort of getting a little bit of feedback and seeing what other people think of these drams that we can all taste together. So it's like a big international whiskey club or a huge online tasting that everyone can take part in with a huge variety of whiskey and I really like that and I really want to recreate it this year so this video is just a little heads up that I want to do something along those lines this year and I just want to get people's thoughts on what they think would be fun and also which advent calendar people think is best to do this year because there's quite a range now so last year I did what Master of Malt just called the, the whiskey advent calendar which was £150 last year and it's available for the same price with different, potentially not completely different, but a different lineup of drams this year. Now, I probably don't want to do that one again. So that was, I would say, predominantly scotch, but with some world whiskey thrown in there as well, all whiskey basically. And I'd like to do something a bit more different than that. So apart from that, they do something they call the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar which is also £150, but obviously the, the World Whiskey offerings have been replaced with more Scotch offerings. They've also got a single cask whiskey advent calendar, which is a little bit more expensive, £200. So I'm thinking because they're single cask, it should be a little bit more mass market approval, a little bit more unusual, hopefully a little bit more craft orientated, so maybe some higher ABVs, some more standout flavours, some more characterful whiskey perhaps. Up a step from that, they also sell, starting to sound like a, a master of malt salesman here, which I promise I'm not, but a level up from that, you've got the premium whiskey advent calendar, £250, and I've had a little bit of a sneak peek, because if you look on the website, they do actually tell you I think most of them they tell you the full lineup of what you'll actually get if you want to spoil it. And I've had a little look at some of them, and there's some very, very nice stuff in that advent calendar. But then for £250, there probably should be. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff as well. There's an exclusively World Whiskey advent calendar, and I don't particularly want to do that because, in my opinion, there's some amazing World Whiskey out there, in particular. Things like Bimba, if there was anything by Bimba in there. Or Zudam, Millstone in, in the Netherlands. Fantastic whiskey. But I think that world whiskey can be a bit hit and miss. And I don't really want to be tied down to some of those for a whole month. 
There's also, I should probably mention this, what they call the old and rare advent calendar. Now that's a thousand pounds, which in itself is the reason that I don't really want to do that. But also because I think that the majority of you out there are probably not going to spend a thousand pounds on a whiskey advent calendar. So I don't want to do something that excludes too many of the viewers. Now, if that is something that you're interested in, let me know. And I really don't think it's going to happen, but if loads of you contact me and say that you're going to buy it and you want to do it at home at the same time as me, then fantastic, we'll do the old and rare. But I really think that's going to be too rich for most people's tastes. Other than that, they've got advent calendars on bourbon, rum, vodka. And again, if there's loads of you out there that want to do that with the, the videos this year, then let me know. Not exactly my thing, especially the vodka. But if enough of you out there want to do it, then that might be something that we do this year or maybe next year. There is also a Japanese whiskey advent calendar. Now, that's another one that I don't really want to do because, in my opinion, Japanese whiskey that you can get these days, it is not that good anymore. And especially in terms of value, there aren't really very many Japanese whiskies at all which I would consider good value for what you get. So this video is really all about feedback from you guys. I want to know what you want to see and what you are able to take part in. If you've got no suggestions or feedback at all, but you know that you're going to be buying one of these calendars, please let me know in the comments what you're going to have. And just let me know that you're there and you want to take part so I know what everyone wants. And as I said before, if you want one of the more oddball calendars and that's either what you want to see or hopefully what you can take part with, let me know about that as well. The last thing is, I mentioned briefly that last year I didn't do the tastings blind, so I knew what I was going into. I actually read the label immediately before I tasted it. I was thinking this year it might be fun, or perhaps a complete disaster, if I actually tasted them blind. So I'd take each one out of the advent calendar, not look at it, crack it in the glass and only actually read the label and see the ABV, the age statement and what it is after I've already done the tasting notes. If you think that's something that you would like to see, then again, let me know in the comments. And if that is something you're interested in, it would also be a good idea to get like uh, almost a tasting sheet for every whiskey. So basically things to try and guess. So when you're tasting the samples blind, you could try to guess, obviously, what country it's from, how old it is, what the ABV is, what the cast treatments are, what distillery it's from, all of these things that we could try to guess to see how close we can all get. So any suggestions on any of these things, please let me know in the comments and hopefully we can get a bunch of us together to get organised and get these things before they all sell out because they almost certainly will do by probably late November, I guess, or maybe mid-November. I don't know. That might be different depending on what we choose. But I hope to hear from a lot of you very soon. Thanks for watching and commenting, and I'll see you in December.